All right. Is that okay? Can you see my face? I think that's good. I think it's as good as it's gonna get. So, hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's video, which I think might be one of the most requested videos on my channel that I've gotten over the last six months. So this will be a combination of how I cleared up my skin as well as an everyday makeup routine. Now just on preference that I don't wear makeup on a daily basis. It's actually very rare for me to wear makeup. So for me, this is like my go out face, but for most people, this would be like an everyday <laughs> makeup routine because it's so simple and it takes me less than five minutes. But I'm very proud of it because for the longest time, I didn't know how to do my makeup. And all thanks to Sam James, she taught me some skills. So I am currently completely bare faced. I have no makeup on. I have no eyebrows on, which is slightly terrifying, um, and nothing in my face at all. I'm gonna start off with the skincare part first, and then we're gonna do the makeup part after that. And I've never ever done my makeup on camera, so this could just be awful. But you know, if anything, we'll all get a laugh out of this, so it's gonna be fine. <laughs> all right, so to start off with my skin, I just wanna give you like some history. Um, so I was on hormonal birth control for four years, and after four years, I realized that I didn't wanna be on it anymore. I switched to the copper IUD. I'm going to do an updated copper IUD story, my experience with it, all that stuff soon. So if you guys have any questions on that, comment below and I'm going to answer them through. Um, I actually don't think a lot of you guys are gonna be expecting what I'm going to say. I'm very excited for that video because that's also been very requested. But anyway, so the hormonal birth control was really controlling my face and my skin. For four years, I had no acne. Like literally maybe every once in a while I would get a, the tiniest little zit and it was just like nothing. Yes, please just sit right where the camera is. Thank you very much. Come sir. This is uh, the monster that always <laughs> ruins every single one of my videos. Tell me about your skincare routine. Okay, where was I? Oh, hormonal birth control. Basically made my skin very clear. Once I got off of it is when shit hit the fan. <laughs> uh, I hate to say it that way, but really my skin and my hair took a solid hit. My hair started falling out like crazy and then I just started getting so many breakouts, especially chin breakouts. Now, I don't know if you guys can see right now, I have a teeny tiny pimple right there. It is that time of the month for me right now um, and I only have one breakout, which is wild because when i first got off of birth control um when i was going through my skin issues whenever my period would come around i would get the most painful i don't know if it's like cystic acne or what it was but it would be like all over my chin and like here and here it would hurt some of them you could pop which i don't recommend doing that but i couldn't help myself so i did that and then it would like scar and uh, it was so bad. Nothing else really changed in my lifestyle as to like how I was eating or exercising or anything like that. I was still eating very healthy, which I do think actually plays a huge role in what your skin looks like. If you're gonna eat like crap, it'll most likely show up in your skin um, unless you're just very lucky. So again, outside of the birth control situation, nothing really changed in my life to like affect my skin. So I knew that had to be it because I was still eating very healthy. I was exercising. I was drinking tons of water. My skin was hydrated. I didn't really change any products. I started researching online of other people's like experiences with birth control and coming off of it, how long it took for their body to just feel balanced again. And you know, it really differs from person to person, but most people said that in a few months things should get better. And for me, I felt like it was just getting worse and worse. My hair definitely stopped falling out as much as it did in the beginning. Um, I would say two to three months in, so I felt like, okay, my skin should kind of be catching up at this point, and it wasn't. And then one day I was just driving in a car with Sam, and to be completely honest, I was just complaining about my skin so much, and she was like, okay, we're gonna go to my apartment, I'm gonna give you some stuff, you're gonna try it out, you know, throw away everything else that you're using, or not throw it away, but you know, just use what I'm gonna give you for a few weeks, and then we'll see if it fixes it. Um, so we literally went to her apartment and she gave me three things. This cleanser, she gave me this daily moisturizer, which is completely out, <laughs> and she gave me, this is my formula, but she gave me her formula of Curology, which, bless her soul, she has a skincare routine up on her channel, which I will link in the description bar for you guys. Um, it's very in-depth and it's very good and I really do think she knows what she's talking about because she's like tried out a bunch of stuff but basically she introduced me to Curology. I am partnering with them in this video but I just want to emphasize like 
I really genuinely believe in their product. Once this video collab is done, I will continue to buy Curology with my own money because I I don't think I could live without it at this point. Sam and I have the exact same formula and like if I run out, I will literally go to her apartment and just be like, can I please just have like two pumps of Curology? And we just kind of go back and forth and share because it's a monthly membership. So I send it to you once a month and usually at the beginning of the month, like when I first get it, I just smother my face in it. And then by the end of the month, I just use like a teeny tiny pump to make sure that it lasts me until my next bottle comes in. Basically all I'm saying is, although this is a sponsored video with them, I'm so excited to work with them because because I really, really believe in their company. I've met the girls who work for Gearology. I've had lunch with them. We've talked about their brand and how they started, and I, I just think they're awesome. All right, so just a little explanation as to what Gearology is in the first place, um, because I had no idea what it was. I didn't know if it was like a moisturizer or a cleanser or what, but basically, this right here is a prescription formula that's made 100% for your skin. So you go online, you take a little quiz, you include some pictures, and then a licensed professional is going to look at that information, look at your concerns, look at the pictures you've included, and then they come up with a specific formula to help you fix whatever issues you talked about in that quiz, which I think is very neat. I ended up trying Sam's formula first, and then I loved it. I was like, this is perfect. So I went online, I took the quiz, did the pictures, and then my licensed professional, which her name is Elizabeth Abbott, I just wanted to make sure that I got her last name right. Um, she's a full-time dermatology physician assistant. She prescribed me a formula. Now I'm gonna go ahead, get up for a second, and go get that formula because that one did not work for me. I ended up hating that one. All right, so this right here was the first formula that I received. This is what the back of it looks like, and that's all the ingredients that are in here. I don't know how to pronounce these names, but it's azelaic acid, <laughs> and then clindamycin. That's probably wrong. <laughs> and then zinc something. Pyrite something by right thing okay I don't know I'm going to just type them out right here that way it's easier I'm not gonna lie to you guys did not love that one but I went on the website I talked to Elizabeth I was like yo I don't think this formula is working could we try the one my friend has which is um, it's the first two ingredients are the same but the difference is instead of the zinc it's niacinamide Again, I'm definitely butchering all of these, just ignore me. But she was like, no problem, we can switch last ingredient. She even explained to me like the difference of what they do, what this last one does here, and what the zinc does. And this right here is the holy grail formula for my skin. I would say I have very oily skin, and this does tend to make it a little bit drier, which is nice because it is like medication. I've lived in this apartment for so long now, and I still haven't figured out like the ideal filming situation, so my apologies, this might not be the best lighting. And I wanted to film this video with natural lighting, but now I feel like it is like just changing on me. I don't know. But anyway, so at the moment, my skincare routine is as follows. At nighttime, I will wash my face with the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. I just get this at like CVS or um, you can find it at Ulta. Target definitely has it. I'm sure Walmart does. Just any kind of drugstore will have it. It's a very common cleanser. I feel like a lot of people use it. And then I'll just kind of pat dry my skin with a towel. Make sure that you guys keep your towels and your pillowcases clean. That is so essential for good skin. So... I'll pat dry my skin with a towel, a very clean towel, and then I will put on some of this Kale Plus Spinach Green Tea Hyaluronic Acid Superfood Air Whip Moisture Cream. Oh my god, I feel like this lighting is so dark. Honestly, I don't even know at this point. <laughs> I think this might be a little bit better. I'm gonna keep you here for a minute. This is by Youth to the People, and it's made in California. I get mine at Sephora. I'm sure you could either get it there or you could like order it online. I've never tried to order it online. I just buy it from Sephora, but um, this stuff is great. It's very lightweight, so it gets absorbed very easily. And then once the moisturizer is on, I'll wait about 10 to 15 minutes, just give it enough time to absorb. And that's when I go in with about two pumps of Curology depends on what time of the month it is like if it's early in the month and i just received my formula i can sometimes do three pumps if i'm feeling risky but most of the time two pumps is perfect just to show you guys what it looks like this is it it's kind of just like a regular cream i'm gonna put it on my chin right now because i feel like that's where i'm breaking out but i just smother it everywhere and i personally feel my skin absorbing it immediately again i do this once a day at night time and then in the mornings i'll just wash my face with water if I feel like extra oily, then I'll cleanse it with the CeraVe cleanser and then I put the daily moisturizer on. But if I don't feel oily, then I'll just do water, put the daily moisturizer on, use a little bit of SPF, 
major key to prevent wrinkles. Um, and then I go on about my day and then I'll repeat the nighttime routine every single night. And my skin has been, I would say like 90% clear for the last three months that I've been using Curology. Sometimes, not always, but like right around my period, I'll get maybe one bad pimple. But other than that, it's been pretty clear and smooth sailing. We are slowly but surely just moving all around my room because the lighting keeps changing. But if you guys are interested in trying out Creology, you can click the link in the description bar and you'll get your first bottle for free. You just have to pay for shipping and handling, which is $4.95. Um, and you'll get your customized formula shipped straight to your door. You can talk to the provider about any questions that you have. It's awesome. I really don't think you'll be disappointed, especially if you find the right formula. I've come to the conclusion with skincare, less is more, and those three things are just what works for me, for my skin type, for the issues that I had, but everyone's different. Um, of course, things like hydration and nutrition, your menstrual cycle, hormones, all these things are going to affect your skin, but this is just what has worked for me, so I wanted to share with you guys. And I think that's about it for now as far as skincare. Um, if I missed anything, feel free to comment below. I'm always happy to answer any questions that you have, but hopefully my camera lasts me through this very quick makeup routine and hopefully it's not a disaster but I'm gonna do that real quick and then I'm going to end this video because I didn't anticipate for it to be this long but I feel like it's gonna be a long one all right then so I'm here sitting right there in case you're wondering why I'm gonna be like looking different direction but let's do this first and foremost hair goes in a bun um, because I will literally get makeup into my hair like every time if I don't put it up and sometimes even when I put it up and two I forgot to talk about this in the beginning of the video but I do have eyelash extensions on that's the only thing that's like it's not makeup but it's you know it enhances <laughs> your features so I just wanted to say that they these are not natural I wish but um, I find them to be very convenient especially since I don't wear makeup on daily basis like it's very nice to wake up and just like be ready to go all right so I have what beauty gurus call a beauty blender over here and it is wet you gotta wet this thing <laughs> the first time I did my makeup I didn't wet it and I was like it's kind of weird it was like absorbing everything very fast um, so don't do that. Also guys, I don't know if I would necessarily recommend you take any makeup tips from me. Like I have no idea what I'm doing. And if you have any constructive criticism, totally welcome. I will not be offended because I'm fully aware that that I, I know nothing. If at least we can all get a laugh out of this, then I'll be happy. But to start off, I use this Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation, PF10034 MW2 whatever that means, I think that's the color of it. So I just kind of take this and dab it everywhere. Sometimes I'll put a little bit more like under my eyes and stuff like that. And then of course, don't forget your chin. So this is very pretty, but then I take the beauty blender and let it do its thing. Almost like beat it into my skin. <laughs> Sounds so weird. I don't move it around or anything, I just kind of pat it. All right, so here we go. Here's my skin with foundation on. I don't use any kind of concealer or anything because I don't know. I don't know what I would use it for. I probably like could and maybe should, but I feel like this does the job. It just like evens everything out because I feel like I have redness and unevenness in my skin and this just makes it all the same. Then step number two, I use this Drunk Elephant. I call it a bronzer. Is it a bronzer? I'm not sure, but Sam again recommended this to use as a bronzer because it's liquid and it's just a lot easier to like maneuver. I want to say but I just put one pump of it on my hand and then I use the other side of the beauty blender and I just dip a little bit and then I you know do that thing where I like contour I try to contour sometimes this is where shit hits the fan so I'm gonna try to concentrate I'll make that like fish face like and I just put it wherever I see it <laughs> next I use this Becca highlight um, and I just this is the brush that I use for it it's by Sigma and I personally put it like right here and you know where I've seen like beauty gurus do it like a little bit right here a little bit right here I don't know man oh shit that's a lot Oops. I mean is it right I don't know <laughs> wow look at me go so helpful and then I go in with this Tarte uh, mascara this is the lights lashes camera one I love it so much before I had eyelash extensions on this is all I would wear in my eyes and 
it does an amazing job but i'll just kind of put like a little bit in my lower eyelashes just so it matches my top ones because i feel like it's uneven when i have like a full face of makeup on or not a full face of makeup on full face of makeup on for me i'm trying so hard not to make that face that like face that everyone does i do that every time <laughs> And my last and final step of this makeup routine is um, my eyebrows, which we all know on this channel, it's not my strong suit. When I was young, I plucked out my eyebrows way too much, like right here, and I've been dealing with the consequences still to this day. I've used all different kinds of oils. I've tried it all, guys, to try and grow it out, and I mean, it's like, it's just taking a long time, so this is the best that I can do. So I use the Anastasia Brow Definer, triangular brow pencil in medium brown and normally i'll just kind of like brush them out like this first and then um and then i go in and hope for the best i don't hate it which is good but do i love it so just to show you guys the difference of what i look like with brows without brows Going in for brow number two. Now, usually, if this one looks good, then there's like a 9 out of 10 chance that I'm going to hate this one. We'll see. Wow, I am so pleasantly surprised with my eyebrows right now. I swear to God, you guys, this never happens. But that is... Uh, my finished makeup look <laughs> what do we think do you like it i know it's very basic trust me i'm aware but i really i don't have it in me to like try anything else because i'm too scared that i'm gonna mess it up but i feel like this is good for me to start off with you know and then i could venture into a little bit more makeup if i want to i don't know if i do because literally it's so nice to just like be able to carry this with me anywhere I go if I need to and it's so quick like it takes less than five minutes if I'm not doing it on camera oh forgot I usually use this um lip balm it's a balm right yeah lip balm I'll just put this on my lips and um I'm still recovering from like that one time that I bit myself and it like swelled up like crazy um but it's almost gone it's been like a week and a half let me actually take you in like different lighting so you can see what it looks like I'm pretty proud of myself I would not have been able to do this like six months ago this is very new and i've genuinely really enjoyed learning about makeup and just like knowing the fact that i could do something even if it's very basic <laughs> it's nice maybe for my next makeup related video we could do like me trying a full face glam you know with like eyeshadow and a whole lot of other things that people use and if it turns out like crap then we could just laugh all together it'll be great but comment below if you'd want to see anything like that just hit my tv <laughs> Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.